All right, it's seven o'clock. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. What a great group, big group tonight. So I am Bobby Joe. I'm the course director, Scoutmaster. And I'm Steve Anderson. I'll be the senior patrol leader for this course. So we're going to share our screen. Can everybody see that? Yep. Yep. Cool. Want to start? Yeah, absolutely. So everybody can see, everybody can hear. So that's great. So we're gonna we're gonna go through a, a, a presentation, really a it's kind of a meet and greet and a question and answer. So if you, as we go through kind of, we've outlined what we think are the major questions that might come up, but as we go through, feel free to jump in, raise your hand, however, um, and, and we can address them as they come up and then there'll be some question and answer at the end if, if we don't hit on your specific issue, but um, we invite you to to jump in anytime. So with that, let's let's move through. So I think, there you go. So I have been in scouting for 20 years, or just about in October, it will be 20 years. Uh, this is my ninth year in Wood Badge. I've done many different positions and I was uh, got asked to be course director this year. And I have two children, one boy and one girl, and both are Eagle Scouts. And then I'm gonna admit one more there. This is this is me. This is my my son. My primary role in scouting is as a scout dad. That's my Eagle Scout, who's now eighteen and is an adult in his own right. Uh, I've been I've been involved in this council for over thirty five years. I started as a young elementary kid and have have continued through. This will be my fourth year on Wood Badge staff, uh, having been a participant in twenty nineteen, and uh, and my youngest is a. Is, is not a camper, but a dancer. So I, they're both very active. So I have my scout and my dancer. So as I said, we're gonna go through the, the most kind of common questions we see come up uh, with the idea being that, that you'll probably have some questions and we look forward to answering them so that we can have you as prepared as possible when you come on a course and there's, and there's no, no things out there and you can concentrate on, on what we're doing here and have a great time. So I, I guess the first question is, where is this place? <laughs> well, if, if you don't know where Cole Scout Reservation is, we're, we're north of Spokane, close to, and actually we're there now, we're close to Newport, Washington. Uh, if you head up Highway 2 out of Spokane, um, up by Diamond Lake, and so there's the address. And when you arrive, you'll you'll come into the Carbon Lodge to the, oh, we're going to have one more, sorry about that. You're going to come into the Carbon Lodge parking. There'll be plenty of signage. Uh, you'll park in the lot up there. We'll be waiting for you to, to welcome you. Uh, the most important piece, though, is when you do arrive, uh, stay in the parking lot. You'll need to be here by 7 a.m. on uh, Friday Friday morning. Yep. And we will we will be up there to greet you and just hang out in the parking lot and we'll have our scribes there and we'll have our quartermasters there and we'll have our historian and, and Bobby Joe and I will be there as well and we'll welcome you and give you more instructions. So go right ahead. So can you can I arrive early? Well, some people are coming from pretty far away and and some are not, and some would like to get here and not have to leave at five in the morning to to drive up here. So yes, absolutely, you can arrive early. Um, we We have a camp set aside for early arrivals. and we'll, we can talk to you if you reach out to Rachel our scribe and she can give you some direction on 
on letting us know who's going to be here so we can be prepared for it. Um, there will be a bathroom available. Uh, there will not be food, so you'll need to need to eat before you come, and uh, we'll we'll have you camp, um, and then the next morning pack up and be back in the lot, and and there'll be instructions as to the campground you'll be going to. Are there any questions about that? No, not on my side. This is Mark. So. Check in on Friday and check out on Sunday. Uh, check it in Friday, as I mentioned, 7 a.m. We need to be in the parking lot, ready to go. Check out on Sunday is around five o'clock. Uh, we, we work very hard to be on time. Uh, as you know, we started right at seven straight up. Uh, we, we have a saying that, that uh, early is on time and on time is late. So we, we strive to stay on schedule. And I think that per our schedule, Sunday around right at five, right around five is is checkout time. We will we will have a uh, a, a schedule for you each day, so you'll know. Um, we we can't really have people leaving early because the program goes through five on Sunday. So just plan accordingly. Can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. Will we also have to tear down camp at five p.m.? No, actually, that's a great question. We will have, uh, it will have instructions, we'll be working with you, but you'll actually break down camp Sunday morning before we start our program. And so we'll have everything ready and we will have our quartermasters helping transport gear to and from your campsite. So you won't have to worry about that. So we'll we'll work with you on that. Thanks. We have babysitters waiting for us at home. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and that's why we want to be, we don't want to be getting out of here at 6 30 when we say five. So that's why we stay on schedule. And so I, that's a great question. Thanks. So do I have to attend both weekends? Yes. Uh, the program is is structured such that you would you will attend uh, Friday morning, 7 a.m. through Sunday at five on the first weekend and the second weekend. Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, till right at five on your way out. <laughs> Medical forms, everybody's favorite topic. <laughs> because we are here for more than 72 hours, we have to have a medical form from each of you. Uh, I believe they're being collected through registration. Is that correct? No, they'll be collected on, uh, at, at, yeah, at registration when you first come at, in the parking lot. So when you check in, our scribes will be up there and have a desk. Uh, our our medic will be there collecting med forms and checking them. They need to be parts A through C. C is the one that the doctor has to sign. Um, we should all have them as scout leaders and, and adults anyway, because we go camping, especially with the with the older units or the older scout units, but. So we'll need to have those and we we cannot, we can't, we, we're treated as being a five day program. And so we are over the 72 hours. So we have to have all parts. What do I have to wear to dress code? So uh, we, we ask that you wear your full class A's. Uh, the first weekend we will be in and out of, of uh, the lodge. We'll be on the parade grounds. We'll be around the lower camp. And so we will be doing our our, uh, uh, our our class A's pants, olive green or charcoal gray pants, your socks, dark socks. Um, you can wear a class B under your shirt and, and sometimes we'll have an opportunity to wear them mostly in the second weekend it would be class B's, um, mm -hmm. but we'll all be in class A's. And uh, uh, of course, bring a coat, be prepared to be inside and out of the building. The weather's unpredictable. It was 29 degrees last night, but it didn't rain. It was beautiful. So we we always are prepared. Question, questions on dress code? Anybody? Okay. That's amazing. Camp gear. So <clears throat> we're camping. We're, we're bringing our own tents. Tents will not be provided. We'll be in the, in the structure. <laughs> campgrounds um you'll be assigned a, a campground when we get here of course if you come early we have a an early arrival campground uh you should have been provided a list 
from our scribe of, of, of suggested gear. But as I mentioned, it was 29 degrees last night, so prepare for cold. Um, it is May, so it's probably not going to be very warm, but it'll be warm enough. Uh, if you need gear and you can't get it outside of here, reach out to our scribes. Let us know. Um, oh. Most of us have extra gear. Most of us are are more than willing to provide uh, assistance where needed. Um, for the uh, couples, if there's couples, we have couples signed up. Yep, we have one. Okay, so the couples um, need to bring your own gear. You won't be able to partner with a friend. You'll not be in the same groups. And so we need to prepare for everybody to have their own gear. Um, and so hopefully that will work. Any questions? Um, I did ask in the chat, but can I use a hammock? You can use a hammock. We have lots of trees. Absolutely. Yep. Can um, I, for the life of me, can't find the the gear list. So can it be on Slack or somewhere we can access Ab it beyond an email? Absolutely. We'll make a note. We'll, we'll put it out on Slack. I'm glad you're all looking at Slack. We love that program. It's a great way to communicate. So we'll put that out there um, with the gear list so that it's so that's available cool. for you all. Thank you. Absolutely. Good question. Any yes. other questions on gear? Any, any so the hammock question is a great question because I think there's a couple people down there in hammocks right now with our staff. So great. One question. Um, I am old. I don't know what Slack is. <laughs> Slack is a communications platform that we use. Um, it's a. It's it's. It's a little bit like WhatsApp or one of those. It's kind of a, a texting. Uh, if you would like us to email you a copy of the gear, the gear list, uh, if you could shoot an email to the scribe, to Rachel, she would she will uh, get it right out to you. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Food. Got to have food, right? We have a great culinary team. No. We'll be cooking our meals. Uh, as I mentioned, there will be no breakfast on day one. You'll eat before you get here, but there will be lunch uh, and dinner. And then, of course, all the meals through dinner on through dinner on through lunch through lunch on Sunday. Yep. Sorry. And so uh, we will provide that. If you have dietary needs, you should be letting our scribes know so that we can be aware of that. Um, I'm a diabetic, so I bring some of my own food to supplement. So if there's something special you need, you might need to bring some of your own. But if you let us know, we can certainly do everything we can to accommodate. But we should know if there's allergies, that should be on your medical form. Um, if you, if again, if you have special dietary needs or, or such, then please let us know so we can work work with that. I did talk to the culinary team today. They're going to have the menu done and finalized by the 29th. Perfect. And then I talked to um, one of the culinary team, um, Rainy. She will be the one taking care of all the special diets. Perfect. Um, and she um, will get me uh, the adjusted uh, adjusted menu that she's working on to where we can accommodate everybody. Um, and if those accommodations necessarily don't fit what you need, we do have a whole entire fridge um, to where you can store food that you bring and there is a microwave available to you to where you can bring um, the food that you need to fit your diet um, so that we're, we're trying to fit as many or, you know, to help as many people as possible, but sometimes we can't do that. Or maybe you just don't like what we're serving, which is fair. And we're going to post that menu. Yep. We're going to post it in Slack. Facebook and email it out to you. So you'll see so. you'll see what the menu is with 70, 75 people. It's really hard to have 70, 75 different meals, but uh, we do everything we can to make sure because we do understand that. Any questions on food? Um, how do we verify that they got um, our requests of our dietary restrictions? Because I sent it in, but I never heard that they received it. So... If it was in your questionnaire that was online, we have received it. Okay. And I believe Rainy will be reaching out to those that um, she wants, feels that she would like to have a conversation with 
to where she can make sure she is accommodating you with your needs. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Feel free to reach out with any questions, even if you don't want to bring it up today, totally fine. Reach out to the scribes, reach out to the uh, reach out to Bobby Joe or myself. We'll get it to the scribes and 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 we're happy to answer those questions and help out with that. Yep. And I apologize. Did you say there was a place you could go look to see what those meal, what the meal plan was? We're going to post it um, after the 29th. After the 29th, we'll post the whole menu. So you'll see what that is. And then I think we posted Facebook and emailed out to everybody. So you'll have it. And, and it's, um, then you'll have, and, and if there's questions, that's probably the best time at that point. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So will there be coffee? Well, there better be coffee because if there's not, there's going to be a bunch of grouchy people. So um, <laughs> yes, there'll be coffee brewing all day, every day. Um, if we can talk the quartermasters into it, they'll be in the parking lot on day one. When you arrive, we'll have a have coffee up there. So if you, I, I know that, um, some of us bring our own special sweetener, cream or whatever. We'll have cream, we'll have some sweeteners, but if you have something special you want, coffee made or whatever, um, feel free to bring it. Again, we have a refrigerator that it can be put in so we can keep it cold um, and uh, bring an ice chest if that's your preference, but absolutely so. And the question in there, will there be non-coffee? Absolutely, there's hot water. Um, we have, um, uh, I think there's tea down there. There'll be likely hot cocoa. Um, and, and of course, water, if there's something special you want to bring. As far as um, sodas and, and drinks, I think they'll be in the in the store. Is that yes, correct? and we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, but perfect. Yep. All right. And then, of course, if there's something special you want, again, we have refrigerators. We have ways to have it there. We'll be in the lodge for the vast majority of, of the first weekend or at least around the lodge. So you'll have access to it. Weather at Wood Badge. Kind of <laughs> touched on this already. It um, never we, rains yeah, at Wood Badge. We don't talk about the weather because it's bad luck. But <laughs> again, it was in the 20s last night and uh, it'll be in the low 30s tonight. So be prepared for that. Will it rain? Probably, but we hope not. Um, we've had rain, we've had hail, we've had snow, we have everything. So I think that that motto is be prepared. So come prepared for it. Um, we do have, we all bring extra stuff. So if we have an emergency where uh, a tent gets soaked or a sleeping bag or whatever, we have the ability to deal with that, but we don't really want to if we don't need to. So come prepared. And uh, again, if, if there's, of course, if it gets really bad, we'll have a plan, but I don't think it'll get that bad. It's just, we're camping. And it's beautiful up here, so. And we do a lot indoors, but we also do a lot outdoors. So be prepared for that. Bring a jacket, wear long sleeves. If you have a short sleeve class A, um, yeah, be prepared to be in and out. Pre-course assignment. So you were sent the pre-course assignment from when you signed up from, uh, from a scribe, they've already received that. Um, it's very important that you go through this. Um, it's it's for you, but it's for us. We're not going to collect it, but it's something that will come up, and you'll use it in going through the program and going through the different the different uh, uh, presentations and lessons, and 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 uh, it kind of gets you centered and gets you ready to be here, and kind of gets those juices flowing. So it's important that you go through it um, again. Uh, we're not going to collect it. We're not sharing it with anybody. So deep and personal is okay because that's it's for you. It's not for it's not for us. I also have not seen that. Oh. Can that also be? And my husband, yep. he's also coming. We're the, we're the couple. He oh, hasn't there you go. That either. Well, we will post that up on Slack. Will Slack work for you? On Perfect. Our... Yeah. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. We're make, we're taking notes. That's why we're here. Thank you. Absolutely. I actually think you have two couples because we're also a couple. Awesome. Awesome. We love couples. Yeah. I think there's three on staff. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. Electronics at camp. Well, we'd love to say no, but we understand that the world it's in and we all sit here with our 
with our electronic leashes, but it's great. Um, can I charge my cell phone? Absolutely. Uh, we have the quartermasters have several uh, power banks, power chargers. If you want to bring a battery pack to charge, whatever it'll lodge, we have plenty of plugs and plenty of ways to charge it. We, we'd ask that while we're doing the presentations and while we're going through the course uh, as much as possible that we're not using our phones, but there's, there's downtime, some downtime to be able to do that. Check in with the sitters, check in with the kids, check in with your spouse and, uh, and we'll keep you charged up. And so we should be good there. Any questions on that? Any Mobility issues. Uh, this is another one that if you have uh, mobility issues and need help getting up and down the hills, if you've been up here, it's built on the hills, it's next to the lake, um, please let us know, let the scribes know so that we can make sure that we have um, the ability to get you where you need to be. We, we don't wanna create a problem. We don't wanna create more issues for anybody. We want to make sure that, that it's an enjoyable experience and that that's the least of, of your problems. So if there's if there's issues, please let us know and we will accommodate. We have a great quartermaster team and they will they will make it happen. We've had someone come through in a wheelchair before and we've made it work and they've had a, a fantastic time. And we've had some people who have come through, I think, in their 80s mm -hmm. and they've had a fantastic time too. So we can make whatever work so please don't be concerned with that. We'll we'll take care of you. We had a staff member with a broken leg last year. Yep. <laughs> so we make it happen. So absolutely. So if there's a if there's an issue, uh, the first weekend when we're around the lodge, there's not going to be a, a whole lot of like walking and hiking and moving around. I mean, we're mostly going to be at the lodge. The second weekend, there'll be a little more of that. You'll hear about more on course. But um, so if there's a, if there's an issue, just let us know. Reach out. Um, you can private message our our scribes through Slack, and we will uh, we'll make that accommodation absolutely. CPAP machine. Do I need? Uh, do I have a CPAP and need electricity? It yeah. happens. We have them, and and yes, if you have a CPAP machine, please let us know. We have uh, a couple campsites where we have electricity available with extension cords and we will accommodate that but we need to know ahead of time so that when we're setting up our campsites we know who needs to be where so we can accommodate that so please let us know restrooms and showers we have them so that's good <laughs> yes we have we have working winterized uh restrooms and showers flush toilets um i think there's two showers up here that are usable um, I think the lodge is going to be reserved for staff. Yep. So the the ones that are up here, there's there's two, there's restrooms, there's plenty, plenty, and they're they're not pit toilets, they're actually flushing toilets. So they're 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 and they're set up and ready to go. Been through wood badge before. I'm not sure if we have any, but if you've we been, do. we do, well, we have several, at least four or five. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, great. Then if, if you've been through wood badge before and you already have a critter and, and for those who haven't been through wood badge, the wood badge has gone through some iterations over the years and change. And so every time there's a, a complete course overhaul, um, you're, you're invited and encouraged to go through again because there's new material, there's new lessons. And mm -hmm. so uh, we all know, or maybe we don't know that there's Critters involved, and if you want to be in the same patrol that you were in when you went through before, let us know so we can so we can accommodate that and make it happen. So you need to let us know, and and then if you'd like to be in the same patrol, some people maybe don't want to be the same, but that's fine. If you do, let us know so we can again through our scribes. Our scribes, as you're finding, that's that's kind of our main communication hub. Um, we want them to to know so we can get that set up. So. If you did put that in your registration, we do know that. That's how I knew that we had four or five. Perfect. Um, but yeah, if you had, if you did not put that in there, please reach out to Rachel. Trading posts. Can I buy stuff? Absolutely. We love selling stuff and we love buying stuff. So we'll have a trading post set up, and it'll be up and going at the lodge. It'll be time to be able to go out there. Um, 
at the at the there was a survey that was out on the Slack for those who saw it over what kind of candy they liked. Yep. Um, we did that so we know what to buy. Um, there'll be soda there, um, meat sticks, granola bars. We have a we have a staff member whose sole job is to run our trading post at our camp to make sure we're all got all our snacks and all our stuff we need. There'll be patrol gear, patches, pins, all kinds of stuff. There's some clothing. Um, I know that the opportunity to order the hoodies was there. Yep. Um, I think that you can talk about, are we going to order those and then have them for the second weekend or are we going to have them for the first weekend or how's that going to So work? the order has already been placed okay. for those that have ordered them online. Um, we will be placing a second order if you did not order the first time um, right after the second weekend and the, or the first weekend and they'll be available on the second weekend. Perfect. Perfect. And then uh, <clears throat> camping gear, you may have forgotten. There won't be sleeping bags and tents and all that, but there'll be, uh, you know, some stuff. But it, again, it, if, if there's stuff you need, and we talked about it earlier, let us know so we can so we can make sure we have it ready for you. Again, we, we want you to be able to focus on the program and focus on wood badge and not worry about camping and what I'm eating and where I'm staying and all that. We want to make sure that, that everything's covered before you get here. So we put together the, the questions we usually get. Um, in, in full disclosure, we've never done a webcast, but we know it works for summer camps and it works for lots of stuff, lots of different scouting programs. And so we figured this was a good way to get out there rather than just a barrage on Slack or email or Facebook or however. So, so those are the questions we usually get or we've already gotten. And so we we'll open it up for any other questions you might have any, anything at all. If, uh, if you, I don't know if we're we're watching the the chat room. I did. Yeah. Is there anything up there? I think I talked about the drinks. So so, feel free to speak up, ask any questions. Will we be setting up camp at the end of the day on Friday in the dark, or have the chance to do so? Great question. So, so when you arrive. We'll arrive again, 7 a.m. We need to be in the parking lot. We will have a trailer up there and our quartermasters who will run for five days solid and actually are already running crazy. We'll have a trailer. They will, will be we'll be tagging your bag with a color so we know where it goes and they'll be delivering it to your campsite. Midday on Friday, there will be a time when you'll go to camp and, and you'll be able to set up camp. You'll have, you'll have, um, um, Free time to do that. Again, we're on a schedule, but we'll have plenty of time to get it set up. Your your um, assigned staff member will help you get everything uh, in place and and guide you in that. And then it will be not be in the dark. And then again, Sunday morning when you get up before you come down for breakfast, you will have you will have time to get your gear taken down so that we don't have to be doing it at five o'clock so that everybody can get on the road. Thanks. Absolutely. Do you know what campgrounds we're going to be at already, or is that still to be decided? We have decided the campgrounds. Um, we are trying not to get it too far away from the lodge so we don't have as much walking to do. Um, we do have 41 participants so far, which is wonderful. We haven't had this kind of numbers for a couple years. So because of that, we will have more patrols, which will then actually make us do more campsites. So we can't all be right next to the lodge, but it's like five minute walk away is probably the longest walk. So, so if you're familiar with, with uh, Cole's reservation, it'll be the, let's say four or five campsites that are closest to Carbon Lodge Road. There'll be a couple that are the larger ones that will have two groups in them. Um, given that we won't spend a lot of time in our campsites, that works great. Um, so we'll have that, we'll have them right along there. I think that you walked it yesterday and you yeah. said it was like six, seven minutes from the furthest one. Yep. So it's a pretty easy walk, not a big hill. Um, the, the staff is also camping down there in the campsites with the, with the participants. Any other questions? They're pretty quiet. I know we'll fix that problem. Won't we? <laughs> Well, Thank you all for putting this together. It, it does really help to have it casted like that. It's better than a barrage of emails, so we appreciate it. Good, absolutely. You're, you're I'm, I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's helpful. And, and 
it's it's we want you to it's not the secret it's not this big surprise we want everybody to be comfortable and ready to go and and not worrying about again worrying about what am i going to eat where am i going to take a shower where am i going to camp we don't want any of that we want everybody to be ready to rock and and have a great time and and we know we will you gotta we had to come up here to the bunkhouse because the crazy staff's down in the lodge and they're loud and excited and we still got two weeks to go so we're trying to contain the excitement so <laughs> So this might be a slightly silly question, but if uh, I happen to have a fishing rod with me, would there be enough free time to fish or not? I would say probably not going to be enough free time for that. It's a pretty packed, it's a pretty packed weekend uh, unless you're fishing in the dark and we don't encourage that. So it's, it's, it's again, 7 a.m. on Friday till 5 p.m. on Sunday and it'll go by fast and, and you're going to have a blast and, and then, uh, no, it, I, there won't be there won't be that much free time, <laughs> and the lake's pretty mudded out right now anyway. For what it matters, if any questions come up, reach out the slacks there. You can send it to the whole group, and and someone will respond, or you can send it privately to our scribes if you'd like, and just let us know anything at all. We're most of us are pretty good about the slack and 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 what you don't see the behind the scenes duck on the pond there's a lot of it going on so we're always watching it and we we really encourage the questions and and look forward to uh, uh seeing you all in a couple of weeks and we're all very like I said very excited and none of us will be able to get any work done for 2 weeks because <laughs> we're so excited to be here it's 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 very enjoyable for us to do it and so uh, we're looking forward to sharing that experience with all of you yeah Quick question. Is that, you keep saying the scribe, Rachel, is her contact info on the she, website? Uh, where do I find that out to communicate with her? She should be the one, the only one that has communicated with you so far. So have you, got, have you received any re, uh, emails about Wood Badge? Yes. Has it been just the council from Inland Northwest Council or were they from Rachel? West. Yeah, Inland Northwest uh, let's see. That's there is. Yeah, Rachel Burgess. That's yep, Rachel. That's Rachel. Rachel, our scribe. Got it. So rather than having a whole bunch of people communicating, we have we have our scribes that are, are our communicators, so that we don't again have that barrage of emails and mis miscommunications and you know double instructions and all that good stuff that happens. Any other questions? All right. All right. If that's it, then if, if something pops up, let us know. But we look very much forward to seeing you all in, in uh, less than two weeks. It's coming fast. So <laughs> it'll be exciting. 41, 41 people and it'll be an amazing time. All right. Every, good night, everybody. Have a great evening. See you on course. Thank you.